So, did you vote? No. No, you didn't vote, so... No, is it? No, I'm not having this conversation with you. But you're having this conversation with me right now. No, this is a conversation about not having a conversation. But surely the act of not having a conversation in the first place whilst having a conversation surely defeats the purpose of not having a conversation because it implies a conversation needs to take place. No, we don't need to talk about dick for all that I can. Are you upset because you lost? I didn't lose, and you didn't win. I think you'll find I did. I voted, and the result came out in my favour. What has been your immediate benefit from leaving the European Union? Well, the weather's been nicer. Ooh, and I haven't seen any immigrants taking anyone's jobs. When was the last time you even saw an immigrant? How did you know they were an immigrant? That guy at the pub last night? He's foreign. Terry's from Nottingham. He's got brown skin. He's third generation Irish. And he's actually been in this country longer than you have. You're originally from Norway. Yeah, well, I'm glad my dear old Grandma Olaf decided to come over when she did. Big Mama Olaf, we used to call her. Remind me never to ask about your weird family. Incredible woman, she could bench press a cow. Focus. Focus. The point that I'm trying to get into your thick skull is the fact that there's been no immediate benefit from leaving the EU. The pound's been devalued, and it's only going to get harder from here on out. Well, yeah, but at least it's keeping the immigrants out. What do you mean by immigrant? Anyone from another country? Even the ones that have been dislocated by a brutal conflict that our government inadvertently helped to create. Especially them. They're trying to take my stuff. Wow, I'm sure that all the Syrian refugees are thinking of your Ford Fiesta and shaking their fists in envious rage. Great, now I have to hide my car from the public eye. I was... Wait a minute, when you said anyone from another country, what did you mean? Anyone from another country. I thought you meant that. But I was giving you the benefit of the doubt. My apologies for assuming that you were in any way a decent human being. Apology accepted. No, I'm insulting you. And I'm annoying you. Apparently, indefinitely. Oh, nice usage. Is that the word of the day? No, actually. The day of the word is fuck you. Well, that's just rude. Don't care. And now who's being unsympathetic to their fellow man, like you accuse me of being? The differences between you and I are several. For instance, I'm actually human, so I have a heart full of compassion and empathy for those in need. Whereas you, apparently, are made of steel pipes and donkey jizz. Hey, I care about people. Foreign people? Oh god no. Especially Europeans. But you dated a French guy for a year and a half. I found out he was stealing my socks. Okay, what about that German girl? She smelled like old beef. Like, constantly. Austrians. Hitler was Austrian. Need I say more? Belgians. When was the last time that Belgium was significant? Croatians. They never wash their feet. It's like their religion or something. Cypriots. Good cheese, ugly people. Czech. One of the worst republics. Danish. Pretty much Germans, but even worse somehow. Estonians. I had no idea Estonia was actually a country. I thought it was something that everyone had made up at the same time. Finnish. <laughs> Please. Greeks. Greasy spoon lickers, as I call them. Hungarians. Goulash is not a national dish. It's called being lazy. The Irish. How can potatoes be so hard to grow? Really? It's, you put them in the ground, and then they grow. Italians, come on. Great food, don't get me wrong, but they are just covered in oil. It's like they lather themselves up whenever they wake up in the morning, or maybe they just exude it just by being Italian. I don't know. Don't like it. Latvians. I have no idea what they do, but they're probably the worst. Lithuanians. Refer to my previous answer. Luxembourgers. No, I've already eaten, thanks. Maltese. Actually, no, I prefer Revels. Dutch. Another discount Germany. Not worth looking at. Polish. You know, I, I always I always dreamt of being a plumber. What? Portuguese. Drug-taking discount Spaniards. That's what they are. Sorry, it's, it's the Polish man again. Romanians. <sighs> I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm doing better. I don't need to be a plumber. I don't need to be a plumber. Slovakians. Oh, well, no, they're terrible. Spanish. Lazy, tomato-growing, no economy-having bastards. A lot of them. The Swedish. Come on, you love Toblerone. Oh no, the Swedish. Swedish. Well, no, you know, you know, they're all right. They're Vladimir Putin. He's pretty cool. That's Russia. <laughs> ah well. There was Sweden's last chance. Gone. Wow, you really don't like a single country in the EU, do you? Yep. They're all terrible. So you're happy to never visit Europe again? Yeah. Why would I want to go to Europe? Why would I visit the Eiffel Tower? When I've got Blackpool Tower, exactly. There's just no convincing you, is there? Very little. Excellent. Excellent. I'd be happy with Boris Johnson being Prime Minister. Boris Johnson's... Ah. Um, I've 
made a mistake. Really? Yeah, I didn't realise that Boris Johnson was going to win. Can I change my vote? No. Shit! Yes, it is.